All right, welcome back, strummers. And in this video, I want to share with you how I go about teaching people how to change their open chords and really get them into their fingers and get them into their heads. So let's get into it. Hi, I'm Alan Hocker, Gold Coast School of Guitar, and I want to share with you how to train to get your open chords smooth, quick, smooth, fast. I think I've said smooth a couple of times now, but clean so there's no buzzes no mutes but it's all about getting this muscle memory going and honestly i am not a big promoter of exercises for the sake of exercises i think it's you can learn more by studying um songs from famous musicians however chord changes is a big one that i do believe it needs an exercise a little needs a little bit more um time and development put to it than just like strumming chords and changing and playing songs even though that needs time as well you get what i mean though hopefully all right so now when it comes to exercises why i don't promote them is i generally find them boring they're they're not very musical if at all yes they do work um for beginners like yourself though you don't need exercises but this is one exception we're going to go through these in a variety of steps to get these up into a workable thing where you can change chords cleanly quickly all right and there's no and we'll have every finger coming down but just before we get into it um this isn't a five minute exercise it's going to take some time and dedication and patience to it like anything we learn with guitar all right so i want you to just not like drop everything and come and just do this solely put this make this part of your daily practice so just before you practice songs or you're sitting around on the couch watching tv you can do this because we're only going to be focusing on the fretting hand right and not the strumming hand so we're not even going to need the pick in this one so we can put that away um does your guitar need to be in tune it's always good practice but again it's not 100 percent essential but let's just do that for good practice okay all right, let's get into it. All right, step one of this process to get nice clean chord changes is we're gonna, I'm just gonna work with an E minor chord by the way. Um, otherwise this will make for a very long video by going through all the open chords, but I'll explain everything on the E minor chord and then you can take it from there and develop those other chords. All right, so the E minor chord, you, you should know by now is just your opening minor that is it's just your second finger on the fifth string there at the second fret and your third finger directly underneath on the second fret as well but on string four or the d string okay and all we're going to do is what i call squeeze and relax all right now we're going to with this in position good hand position so your thumb behind the neck really nicely and both knuckles bent all right and all you're going to do is squeeze harder than you normally would to play that chord all right and what we're doing here is really helping that muscle memory develop okay i know where i've got to put my fingers all right the thing is we're only going to squeeze for about a second so squeeze hard and then relax and then when i relax i'm not coming off the strings i'm staying in contact with the strings all right so this exercise hence is called squeeze and relax so squeeze for about a second, relax for about a second. All right, squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. All right, and you're gonna do that roughly about, look, it's an arbitrary number, but 10 times is a good, good way to do it. All right, so squeeze, relax, that's one. Squeeze, relax, two. Squeeze, relax, three. Squeeze, relax and so on and so forth all right but make sure you do a good set number and don't don't change it as you go through the chords just keep it the same number for consistency and you'll find that this hand that will start develop that muscle memory that we so desperately want because we don't want to when we're playing chords we don't want to come down one finger at a time to get a nice clean chord we want all fingers coming down at the same time and these further exercises go to help develop that all right, so that's exercise number one, is just squeeze and relax. Exercise number two, 
the same concept except that we're going to lift off. And when I say lift off, we're going to lift off about a millimetre, so not very far at all, all right? And when I say a millimetre, it's not like out here, all right? It's, it's like squeeze, so squeeze harder than you normally would for about a second, and then just lift off, all right? And then you'll find that your fingers will jump around everywhere and every, until they get more strength in them. But the more relaxed you can be in your whole strumming hand, the easier this is going to be. So squeeze and lift off about a millimetre. Squeeze, lift off about a millimeter. Okay, squeeze, lift off. Squeeze, lift off. Okay, again, you're going to do that about 10 times, but I'll leave it up to you to choose the number, all right? Obviously, the more reps we can get in, the better this is going to be over a period of time. All right, so squeeze, lift off. Squeeze, lift off. All right, exercise number three. Again, it's a squeeze lift off. We're going a couple of millimeters this time. Okay, so the same thing, squeeze, lift off a little bit further, about two millimeters, two, three millimeters. Squeeze, lift off. American viewers, I have no idea what that means in inches. So it's a bit of an inch, all right? I have no idea, all right? Um, it won't be an eighth, but like you get the idea. All right, so squeeze, lift off a couple of millimeters or whatever it is in your um, conversion. Squeeze, lift off, squeeze, lift off, squeeze, lift off. All right, again, we're just gonna do this over and over about 10 times and put them all together, okay, and build them up. So you gotta go through all the chords is what I mean. All right, so you do one exercise on the whole on one chord and then go through and do everything else on each other chord, all right? So what I mean by that is all the exercises are about to come and the ones we've just done, you do it on the E minor and then you're gonna repeat it on the G or D, C's, A minors, whatever open chords you, you're learning. All right, so the next step, step four, all right, Again, it's a squeeze, lift off. And this time we're going about five millimeters, so half a centimeter. Again, whatever that is in your conversion. All right, so squeeze, it's the same concept. Squeeze harder than you normally would, and then lift off about five millimeters. Squeeze, lift off about five millimeters. Squeeze, lift off about five millimeters. Squeeze, lift off about five millimeters. Do that about 10 times. Again, it's an arbitrary number. All right, so up till now, we have covered squeeze and relax. So by staying in contact with the strings there when you re relax your fingers, squeeze and relax. Then we went to the squeeze and lift off. We've done about a millimeter. We've squeezed and lift off 10 times each, this is. And then we go to about two millimeters. Squeeze, lift off about five millimeters. All right, so the next step, we want to try and go for about a centimeter away, right? So squeeze, still on the E minor chord, lift off about a centimeter, all right? Remember, stay relaxed as you lift off, all right? And one important thing I wanna mention is that you, when you lift off and squeeze down, is that all the fingers of the chord, no matter what chord you're doing, are doing it together. That's really, really important. All right, you don't want to be pressing down one then bringing the other one in underneath because that is going to be how you practice it and therefore play the chord, all right? So we've got to squeeze down, relax, sorry, squeeze, lift off, all fingers coming off together about a centimetre, all right? Again, squeeze down, all fingers together, squeeze hard about a second and then lift off about a centimetre, all right? All right, so the next one, we're, we're gonna up it a little bit more now, and we're gonna lift off a little bit further. So about five centimeters, okay? Um, that may be not quite, uh, about an inch and a half, a little bit further than an inch and a half. All right, going back to the old plumbing days, that's where dad taught me these inches, but we, we don't, never used it when I was growing up. Okay, I digress, all right. So we're gonna squeeze, lift off, straight up, not lifting down like that, straight out about five centimeters and come down. Squeeze, 
lift off, lift straight up, okay, off your guitar knee, lift straight up, about five centimeters, okay, squeeze, lift off, about five centimeters, and keep going, okay, do that about 10 times. The next step is where we start to get some real distance in, and what we're going to do is like, we're going to keep the E minor position, for example, put squeeze down, but when we lift off, we're going to just let our hand go flat, all right? So this time it's got to curve right back into the cord, all right? So again, you want to keep your whole hand nice and relaxed, tension-free as possible, except when you squeeze, a little bit harder, but like the rest of it, it's just you open that hand right out, keep your thumb in position, all right? You don't want any bit of your palm touching the fretboard here or at any time. All right, so when you come down into position, you're right up on your fingertips. All right, so just squeeze, hold for about a second, and then lift off, hand flat. Okay, lift, squeeze, lift off, hand really flat. All right, and just do this slow. Don't, there's no need to, we're not doing that. All right, we're not, we're not trying to get fast here, we're just trying to train this hand to do what our brain is telling it to do. Because left to its own devices, the hand will do it 10 different ways and think it's right. All right, it's our job to send the message from the brain down to the hands to say, this is what we're doing, all right? And you gotta do that by doing it really slow, all right? So this step, squeeze really hard, or harder than normal, and then let your hand go out flat. Thumb in position, bring it back in, nice and slow. Squeeze, lift off all the way out. Squeeze, lift off all the way, so it's flat. Okay, so before we get into the final step, let's just recap what we've done. So again, I wanna make clear, I'm not a big promoter, promoter, sorry, proponent, promoter, of exercises for the sake of exercises. That all the exercises can be found in songs. This one is a bit of an exception because we want to get nice, clean chord changes. Okay, so to develop that and get this muscle memory so all the fingers are coming down, we're going to do this exercise to help with that. And if you've done this five minutes a day or however long you can focus for, you'll find that your chords over a couple of weeks' time will start to get nice, cleaner, a lot more smoother and easier to transition. Okay, so step one was squeeze and relax by staying in contact with the string. Squeeze and relax. Remember, you do it about each exercise about 10 times. All right? Then we squeeze, lift off. Fingers come straight up off the strings, not down to the side. Squeeze, lift off, straight up off the strings. All right, so about a millimeter. Next one, do the same again, lift off a couple of millimeters, all right? A little bit further away, all right? And let your fingers hop up over that area and come down, all right? Then we went to about five millimeters, so a little bit further, okay? Squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax. But like all the time, letting this hand just come out straight up off the fretboard, not down that way, all right? Then we went to a centimeter, all right? Do the same, squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax, all right? And then we, we done, we really stepped it up and put the fingers flat or your hand flat, making sure that there's no palm touching here and your thumb still touching at the back there. And nice and relaxed, we come back into the cord, straight down onto the cord, squeeze, lift off all the way. Squeeze, lift off all the way. Okay, and just keep it nice and relaxed as you go. All right, and do it slow. All right, so the final step for this, and this is probably the toughest one, and if you haven't gone through these ones enough times, this one is going to feel really strange and really hard to do. So I thoroughly recommend going through the previous steps before going into this one. All right, so what we're going to do is the same concept, however, this hand, your fretting hand, it's just got to drop to your side, 
right? You're not in contact with the guitar, and then you just got to come up into position, all right? So from down on your thigh, come up into position, squeeze, and then drop back down again, all right? Squeeze, drop back down. Squeeze, drop back down, all right? Do that 10 times, okay? Or however many you want. Okay, so that's the steps that I would recommend to get really good chord changes. And you're going to have to practice it on all your open chords. All right, so your C chord, okay? Start off, squeeze and relax, squeeze and relax, and work your way up through the different changes, different exercises, I should say, until you get hand just coming up from your thigh into position. Okay, and you do this with every open chord that you are learning and you'll find that after a couple of weeks, maybe sooner, that you'll get nice clean chord changes, okay? And here's a bonus tip. This exercise, this squeeze, relax, lift off exercise works for any chords that you want to learn too in the future. So whether you want to move into your bar chords, it works for that. Squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze, lift off, okay? and then get it to the point where you're lifting right off like that and just bringing that hand in nice and relaxed. And here's the beauty of it. The more times that you do it slow, the quicker that speeds up. So then all of a sudden, after a little bit of time, effort, patience, you're going to be moving right in. And other chords. So if you want to advance into more uh, what we call slash chords or jazz type chords, this works exceptionally well for it as well. Okay, so work that and have fun with it. Let me know how you go and just drop a comment below saying, yes, it's worked or I'm still struggling with this and I'll help you out even further. All right, until next time, my friends, take care. Happy chord changing.